my channel so today's video is a little bit random and different from my regular content but we are going to be trying to make these mini pancakes that I'm sure you guys have seen all over TikTok, Instagram, the internet and I'm a little bit late to this but I thought I'll try and make them today it looks pretty basic so essentially they're just tiny little pancakes and they call them like pancake cereal but they're just so cute so I thought I'll give them a go because I love pancakes and I obviously have way too much time <laughs> So I thought this would be like a fun activity for me and then after that I get to eat some pancakes So I really can't complain. So let's just go ahead and get started I think you can use any pancake mix but because I'm feeling a little bit lazy today I am just using like a pancake mix that I bought. This is a Japanese hot cake mix You don't have to get this one and this is my first time doing this so potentially this might not work out We don't know yet. So we're about to find out but essentially they're just tiny pancakes so I feel like there's not too much room for error but we never know and I'm gonna stop talking and we are gonna start making this hot cake so on the instructions it just says you need one egg and a hundred milliliters of milk so I don't actually have any regular milk so I'm gonna use this bon soy almond milk I got my whisk and I'm just gonna give it a quick whisk it's actually way past breakfast time right now. It's two o'clock and I've actually had my breakfast already. This morning I went out for a run and then I came back, had my coffee, had some avocado toast and now we're here making these pancakes. So this is just the pancake mix. I'm just gonna pour it straight in. Also last night, okay not last night, every night <laughs> I scroll, scroll, scroll Instagram and I follow one of this like Japanese food account and they have this pancake burger like hot cake burger thing and it looks so good essentially it's like a super fluffy souffle pancake and they just make it look like a but I don't know okay I'll show you a photo this is what it looks like and it looks so good so I may attempt to make that in my next video I was gonna do it today but I don't have any like fresh cream or strawberries so we'll save that for next time but the pancake mixture is done. So now we need to put it in a piping bag so that we can pipe tiny little pancakes on the pan. But I don't have a piping bag, so I'm just gonna put it in this Ziploc bag. It will work as well. And the best way to do this is to put the Ziploc bag in a cup so that, you know, it has something to sit in. I don't know how many pancakes I can get out of this batter, but if I were to make regular sized pancakes, this usually makes three or four. Um, but again, you can use any pancake mix that you want. I hope. I hope this is not a big fail, guys. But if it is a big fail, I will still eat it, okay? The pancake batter is in the Ziploc bags. So I'm just gonna seal it. Try and get most of the air out and squeeze it to the bottom of the bag. I'm not gonna cut the piping bag or the ziplock bag just yet because I'm not ready to cook yet. I've got the pan on a medium low heat and I'm gonna just grease the pan slightly so that our pancakes can stick on the pan. I'm just gonna snip the tip of my ziplock bag. So I'm just gonna make the tiniest little cut if my scissors <laughs> will cut. Okay, yes. We can finally start cooking our mini pancakes and you can pipe them as big or small as you like but just try and keep them consistent so that they cook at the same time. They don't have to be perfect obviously so you can see here I'm just trying my best to keep them all the same size. So I'm just gonna let them cook for about two minutes on this side. You know when it's ready to flip when you can see tiny little bubbles on top of the pancake. So just leave them for about a minute on this side and you're done. So that's the first batch ready. So you can keep doing the same cooking process until you have as many pancakes as you like. When you're ready to serve it, just put some butter on top and of course some maple syrup. So I'm finally done with my mini pancake cereal and it looks so cute. 
Now, in terms of taste, I really don't have too high of an expectation. I feel like this is definitely something that you do just because you have too much time or it's cute. Um, they do call it cereal, so I guess you can add milk if you like. But one of the things that I cannot stand is soggy cereal, so I feel like if I were to add milk in this, it would be super soggy. So I don't know whether I'm down for that, so I'm just gonna eat it as it is. But a thought I had was that maybe if you bake this on a very low heat in the oven, they will turn into like mini crispy pancakes, and then maybe that would be more of a cereal, I think. Right? I mean, I think that would work, but I really don't feel like doing that at the moment. So let's give this a try. Not gonna lie guys, this has gotten cold because I was trying to take a photo for the thumbnail. Um, but you could obviously like reheat it, I think, in the microwave and it should be fine because you can see the butter is not even melting. But let's give this a go. I actually poured so much maple syrup in here, but... Mmm! It just tastes like pancake, but just in a different form. But essentially, you have all the main pancake ingredients. I didn't really have too much expectations for this anyway. I think it's just a really fun activity to do. So I highly recommend doing it if you guys love like cooking or if you want to do something for your kids. I don't know. It was really fun for me anyway, and I'm just by myself. But yeah, so this will be my lunch. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit random. And like I said, you can use any pancake recipe that you like. So just use your regular pancake recipe. Essentially, you're just piping it into really, really small circles to create this mini pancakes. If you guys are lazy like me, then you can definitely use a pancake mix. I'll link this down below. I bought this from the Japanese grocery store. Um, but yeah, guys. I'm just gonna keep eating my mini pancakes. I might try it with milk, maybe when there's less in the bowl so it doesn't get too soggy. Actually, no, I'm gonna try this with milk, but I'm gonna put less in one bowl. And I'm using oat milk. I don't actually like regular milk. I'm not like lactose intolerant or anything, but I just enjoy like non-dairy milk. So I'm gonna try this. Oof. Hold on. I did not shake that properly and it came out really weird. Let's try it with milk. Mm. I'm trying to eat this really quickly so it doesn't get soggy. I have to say it actually doesn't taste too bad with milk. Obviously it's like a softer kind of texture because the pancakes are not crispy. If you guys don't mind soggy cereal, you should definitely try it with milk. It doesn't taste bad. But I think I prefer it just like that. And yeah guys. I feel like I've rambled on for too long. I hope you guys enjoyed this super random video from me. And let me know in the comments below if you guys are gonna try this recipe. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys really, really soon. Bye. Maple syrup is so good. Hmm. I'm gonna have some kombucha. Ugh. Can't open this. I tried grocery delivery for the first time yesterday and it came so late. It came at like 7.30 and I was actually waiting for my groceries to arrive so I could make dinner and I was actually giving up on it. Because it said it would arrive by like 7, but it arrived at like 7.30, 7.40. But anyway, I don't even know why I'm telling you guys this. I bought some kombucha and the flavor is mixed berries. Why would I pick mixed berries? I feel like I would have gone something like passion fruit or mango. Anyway, maybe they sold out. Let's give this a go. Mm, not bad. But yeah, guys, how has your day been? Also, I'll show you the shoes I'm wearing. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like I do this in all my videos, but I was trying to take a photo. That's why I'm wearing shoes. And it's really hard because these jeans are not stretchy. It's so hard for me to show you my shoes, but they are essentially the Nike Dunk in the Syracuse colorway. I really, really like these. I've actually never worn them out of my house, so they're definitely my at-home, lounging around sneaker. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm talking way too much and my camera is telling me that the battery is dying, so I'm gonna go now. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you soon. Bye.